Now in your aquarium, it's super important that you don't allow your phosphate level to rise if you want to grow coral because the phosphate will actually stop the bonding of the calcium and the carbonate that forms the skeleton of the coral. So if your phosphate is high, the coral will stop growing. On the other hand, it also works in reverse in that if your phosphate is low and your corals are actually growing, then they'll actually help to use and feed on the phosphate. So if you've got high phosphate levels in your aquarium, you really need to get those phosphate levels down. And it's good to understand the ratio of the phosphate and the nitrate, because if you have um, the correct nitrate level and your phosphate is lower than the nitrate, then your organic carbon is going to be very effective. If your phosphate level is high, then your organic carbon dosing will be far less effective, particularly in reference to the uptake of phosphate. Anyway, if you have any more um, knowledge on this particular subject, then make sure you little add a little note on the bottom of this video. So understanding the red field ratio can give you guides into um, getting more out of your carbon dosing too.